Thank you. I'm excited to be here. And I know I'm um, right before your break, so I will be hopefully short and sweet, but interesting. And so let me tell you a little bit about Amgen and our journey towards the lake house. So at Amgen, our mission is to treat grievous illness. In technology terms, you can view us as a full stack tech company. We uh, do discovery of new drugs, we take them to development, we manufacture and we market it. And the focus is on grievous illness. And we are uh, one of the oldest individual independent biotech companies. We're global scale, 25,000 people, 25 billion in revenue. We have six therapeutic areas we focus on. So uh, cancer research, which is oncology, um, bone health, inflammation, et cetera. And we have 25 products that are very focused on that in the grievous illness. And we have millions of patients worldwide. So what does that mean? For us, data is at the core of how we discover, develop, and deliver life-changing treatment. And data is, very, is incredibly variant. So in discovery, you're working with molecular data or genomic data. In clinical trials, it's about real-world evidence of how is it behaving in the real world. And then when you move into manufacturing, it's sensor data and IoT and so on. And so you need to be able to combine across these variant data sources in order to actually deliver questions. And so what are the questions that really matter to us? Um, there's a 2020 study that said <laughs> development of a drug is still taking 10 years and a billion dollars to go from discovery to market. We're trying to make that shorter, faster, cheaper, just like all, every other drug company. But how do you do that? You do it with technology, you use it with data. And so we're starting to um, answer these critical questions, but we need to be able to answer the most important ones, which go not functionally oriented, but cross-functionally, so that it meets the different users and the different personas and the different types of data. It doesn't do any good to, dis to develop a new drug if you can't actually manufacture it. So you need to be able to combine across the two. And that is where we're starting to use the Databricks Lakehouse. We've been a Databricks customer for about four years. We have 2,500 monthly active users. Um, we have an extensive number of data science projects, and that varies anything from you know, a short-scale data science project that's a few weeks to answer a very specific question to a team of five to 10 data scientists who might be working on a project for you know, six months. Uh, and, and the question and what we're trying to do is really self-service enablement with guardrails and with control, and that's where we're leveraging Databricks. Our journey has been very similar to probably many customers. We started with a data warehouse. We went to a Hadoop-based ecosystem, both on-prem and in AWS. That gave us a lot of value. But then we started to get in the scenarios of you needed to do weekly processing and spin up 400 machines to do weekly processing in time. We couldn't do that with a Hadoop-based ecosystem, so then we moved to Databricks with elasticity. In the last few years, we've been focused not on just the data lake, but on harmonizing data, on enabling self-service, on uh, connected data with graph technologies as well, and tying in both the relational version and the, uh, and the graph version in our database, in our environment. So I think, like any good architecture slide, you, you need to have one. Um, and we've, we focused on an open modular architecture. We can leverage what Databricks provides. We can also switch out technologies as it's available. And I know everyone has a different version of these. This is ours. Um, but I think the most important aspect to this is what are you optimizing for? What do you care about? Do you care about standardization? Do you care about best of breed? Do you care about flexibility? And I think for us, we found we cared about the following. We cared about having a data center of gravity. So once you had enough data in the same platform, then you had more and more people who would volunteer to bring in the data and add to it because what they already needed was there. And you had internal software products that would continue to build on top of your, your data lake architecture because what they wanted was already there. So you had a synergistic effect of each new product that was starting to develop on it. That led to simpler handoffs because the challenge is really when you switch across tools or when you switch across personas and you do that handoff, that's where you end up with confusion, complexity, friction of experience. And so then we doubled down on skill set specialization. We wanted to be experts in one tool versus proficient in five. So we're not, definitely not 100% lake house yet. Um, there's a, definitely a ways to go, but we're moving in that direction. And so where is it that we want to get to that would lead to more of a 100% lake house? 
I think simplif simplification and performance. So we just heard about the SQL talk. I'm excited to learn more about it, because that's the area that's been causing us to replicate data off the Databricks environment for you know, sub two second queries where you need to have interactive experience. So excited to try that out. Um, the usability and governance, so lineage, uh, discoverability, uh, fine grained access control. If you unblind a clinical trial, you're basically in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so more and more governance, more and more controls. And then in the long run, um, I think we're interested in how do we unlock other personas, not just the Databricks personas, but you know, users who can't write SQL, users who need to explore data, uh, developers who aren't actually really developers like we heard about analytic engineer from DBT, things similar to that. So if this sounds interesting to you, we're hiring. We have 200 plus remote positions. Uh, we're in the business of trying to save lives. There's also two other talks on Amgen that go much more in depth than what I was able to do, one on our commercial business and one on a deep dive within our data platforms and other platforms around it. And with that, I'd like to say thank you, appreciate the time, and enjoy the conference.